Let's say we're asked to multiply 2a cubed by the binomial 3ab squared minus 4a. We start by distributing and putting the like terms together. So 2 times 3 can be written by themselves at the beginning, a cubed times a, and then b squared can be written next. Similarly, the 2 times the negative 4 will give us a negative 2 times 4, a cubed times a can be written by themselves at the end. 2 times 3 will give us a 6. We can use the product rule of exponents to multiply a cubed and a to get a to the fourth. The b squared does not have a corresponding term here, so it just comes along for the ride. 2 times 4 will give us an 8, and then similarly a cubed times a will give us a to the fourth. Let's look at another quick problem. Let's say we're asked to multiply 4xy by 5pq minus 3fg. We do the exact same thing we did in the previous problem, which is to distribute the 4xy into both of these terms on the inside. And when we do, we can write the terms that belong together next to each other, 4 times 5, and then xy times pq, xy times pq. Negative 4 times the 3 can be written next. And here again, we have xy times fg, xy times fg. You'll notice here that the property of exponents don't apply to any of these terms because none of them have a like base. So all we have to do is multiply 4 and 5 to get 20, multiply negative 4 and 3 to get negative 12, and the question is over. There's nothing else we can do at this stage.